Good morning, Cardinals. Good morning, graduates. I am Alexander Agnetti, president of the State University of New York at Plattsburgh. It is my pleasure to welcome you to our 2023 winter commencement. I would ask that you please remain standing for our national anthem sung by the Plattsburgh State Gospel Choir and signed by Johanna Jackson. Please be seated. As a university that takes pride in our conscious efforts toward building a more inclusive community, we must take time to acknowledge that our campus is situated on land that belongs to the Iroquois, Western Abenaki, Mohican, and Mohawk peoples. We honor the original caretakers of this and surrounding land and offer respect to the Haudenosaunee who are still here. This land, this body of water, now known as Lake Champlain, was inhabited and nurtured by these people for thousands of years. We must do the same to nurture and protect this sacred land. This statement is a mere fraction of the steps needed to fight against systemic indigenous erasure. We are the settlers on their land, and we strive to be accountable by remembering this history and cultivating respect in our relationships with our Indigenous neighbors and this land. Thank you. It is now my pleasure to introduce our distinguished platform guests by row. I will ask that each guest remain standing when their name is called and that you please hold your applause until all have been introduced. First, Keith Tayo, Distinguished Service Award recipient. Jackie Madison, Distinguished Service Award recipient. Dr. Brent Cabajal, Interim Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs. Andrea Garcia, a member of the class of 2023 and today's student speaker. Assemblyman Billy Jones, member of New York State Assembly, 115th District. Mayor Chris Rosenquist, mayor of the city of Plattsburgh. James Coffey, member of the SUNY Plattsburgh University Council. Martin Mannix Jr., member of our University Council. Carter Mosier, member of the University Council and president of the SUNY Plattsburgh Student Association. Marsha Cognetta, second vice president of the Plattsburgh Alumni Association. Sydney Grant, member of the University Council. Heidi Kelly, acting chair of the University Council. Anna Liem, member of our University Council. Karen McGrath, vice president for enrollment and student success. Allison Hurd, vice president for diversity, equity, and inclusion. Todd Marvick, interim vice president for administration and finance. 
Dr. Denise Samar, Dean of the School of Education, Health, and Human Services. Dr. Brian Neuruther, Dean of the School of Business and Economics. Dr. Meg Pearson, Dean, School of Arts and Sciences. Ann Whitmore Hansen, Vice President of Institutional Advancement. Dr. Sandra Rizak, Chair and Associate Professor of Sociology and our Presiding Officer of the Faculty. And Dr. Bridget Haina, Chair of the Faculty Senate and Associate Professor of Communication Studies. Please join me in welcoming our distinguished platform guests. You may be seated. I would now like to recognize some of today's graduates. Some of you will receive your degrees this morning with honor. Your academic achievements are commendable. Those students who have earned a grade point average between 3.4 and 3.69 out of a possible 4.0 will graduate cum laude with honor. Please stand and be recognized. Here we are. Students have earned a grade point average between 3.7 and 3.89, received their degrees magna cum laude with high honor. Please stand and be recognized. And students who have earned a grade point average of 3.9 or higher and that's almost straight A's, graduate summa cum laude with highest honor. Please stand and be recognized by your fellow students, faculty, family, and friends. Some of our graduates today are actively serving in the reserves, in the National Guard, or are veterans of the United States Armed Forces. We ask that they stand to be recognized for their service to our country. <laughs> Next, I would like to recognize our outstanding faculty. We would not be here today if it were not for the scholars, the teachers, and mentors who have supported today's graduates throughout their entire educational journey. I would like to take the opportunity for us all to recognize the many faculty and staff members who successfully guided this graduating class through a rigorous course of academic study. Would the faculty please stand? <laughs> Graduates, this is your opportunity to show your appreciation. Now, I want to turn my attention to all of our graduates. You are what today is all about. I want to thank you for attending SUNY Plattsburgh and for being our students. We are a better place because of your presence as a part of this very special campus community. Your years in higher education at times have been incredibly challenging. Many of you began your studies during the COVID-19 pandemic. No one in a century faced such difficulties and alterations in your coursework and college life. But this is the good news. You have persevered and overcome, which is cause for today's celebration. You have truly demonstrated what Cardinal Strong means. Your peers here today, elsewhere on campus, and those watching by live stream in a thousand places commend you and celebrate with you, as do I. We are so very proud of you. So please join me in recognizing the class of 2023. <laughs> Many of you arrived on campus with a general idea as to what a possible career path might be. Others of you didn't know what you wanted to do at all, but you did know that a university education was the key to your success. As you leave here today, you are now career ready, thanks to your 
own dedication and hard work along with those who have, have invested in you, educated you, and supported you. I also want to com commend you for your activism and attention on matters of diversity, inclusion, and social justice. As a campus, we aim to be a leader that others can follow. Your role in this growing effort has been critical. After you leave here today, I have great confidence that will you, you will continue to contribute to make our world a better place for yourselves, for your families, and generations to come. This is what Cardinals do. You will take the opportunities and experiences you've had and achieve much. We are proud of each of you, especially our first generation students who are graduating today. At this very moment, in this auditorium, I want you to know how proud I am of your accomplishments. Congratulations to each and every one of you. Since 1966, the SUNY Plattsburgh University Council has recognized a person or persons who have directly or indirectly played a key role in advancing this university. The award, given at the pleasure of the University Council, was originally conceived by former SUNY Plattsburgh President Dr. George W. Angel. Individuals have been recognized for their contributions to the university, community, or state, and demonstration of leadership ability in the service to others. Today, I'm pleased to tell you we have two recipients. First, Jackie Madison. Jackie serves as the president of the North Country Underground Railroad Association in Osable Chasm, New York, an, organiz an organization that celebrates the lives of abolitionists and freedom seekers and rediscovery of the Champlain Line of the Underground Railroad, with a special concentration on seven northeastern New York counties. As a young woman growing up in North Carolina, Jackie was certain about two things. She wanted to work in the sciences, and she wanted to travel the world. After defying gender stereotypes of the times by earning her undergraduate degree in chemistry, she decided to join the US Army to experience life in different parts of the world. She served during the Vietnam War and was also stationed in Germany, where she met her husband, Calvin. The young couple eventually settled in Fort Riley, Kansas, where they raised two daughters. After working as a library cataloger, she enrolled in a master's program at Emporia State University, which offered long-distance learning. With a background combining chemistry and information management, she moved to Battelle Pacific Northwest Laboratory in Washington State. After five years, she moved to the Wyeth Pfizer Company here in Champlain, New York, from where she retired in 2010. Jackie's community involvement includes membership with the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Annual Community Commemorative Committee, the Women's Right Alliance of New York State, Mountain Lake PBS, the Northern New York Library Network, and the Rotary Club of Plattsburgh. Congratulations, Jackie. Next, Keith Tayo. <laughs> Keith Tayo served SUNY Plattsburgh for nearly 23 years, with the last 14 years in the office of the President. As executive assistant to the President and later as the chief of staff, Keith was a key component in the leadership team of former President John Etling. Keith had a range of responsibilities as a member of the President's Cabinet, including special projects and work on matters from emergency response to public relations. He led the university's engagement with economic development efforts, including very early work on the state Startup New York program. In the community, Keith is a longtime member of the Rotary Club of Plattsburgh, having been named a Paul Harris Fellow and Rotarian of the Year, among other awards. 
Keith was first appointed Director of Public Relations at SUNY Plattsburgh in 1995. Prior to that, he worked as a radio announcer at WPDM WSSN, located in Potsdam, New York. He was a special legislative assistant to former Assemblyman John G. A. O'Neill. He was also Director of Public Relations and Corporate Development for the Adirondack North Country Association and Director of Public Relations at Paul Smith College. He holds a bachelor's degree in communication studies from SUNY Oswego. Congratulations, Keith. Jackie and Keith, please join me here at the lectern, as well as members of the University Council. Please join me in congratulating today's recipients, Jackie and Keith. First, I will ask Jackie to offer any remarks. Jackie? Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed faculty, fellow honorees, proud parents, my family, and the remarkable graduates of SUNY Plattsburgh, I am deeply honored and humbled to stand before you today as the recipient of the prestigious Distinguished Service Award. To be recognized by this special institution is a momentous occasion for me. This is a moment I will treasure for the rest of my life. And I would like to thank the individual who nominated me, the committee that advanced my nomination, the University Council, President and Yeti, and all of you who have made this possible. I am especially honored to be standing here with Keith Tayo as we received the Distinguished Service Award. Keith is willing to take on tasks that many may be reluctant to do. He has consistently demonstrated an unwavering commitment to helping others and a desire to supporting the North Country community. This is a moment that is special for both of us, and there aren't enough words to express our gratitude, and I would like to congratulate him. When I reflect on the meaning of a Distinguished Service Award, it strikes me that service is an integral part of what makes our lives truly meaningful. It's not just about achieving personal success or accumulating accolades. It's about how we contribute to the world around us and how we make a positive impact on the lives of others. Service has always been a guiding principle in my life and is not a one-time act, but an ongoing commitment. It is a value that I hold dear to my heart, and it has been my privilege to contribute to causes I deeply care about. This award serves as a reminder that this work is far from over, and there is still much to be done. It is an encouragement to continue pushing boundaries, challenging the status quo, and seeking innovative solutions to the challenges that the North Country communities face today. I did not embark on my own journey of service with the expectations of recognition. Rather, my commitment to service was rooted in a desire to give back to a world that has given me so much and to be a part of something greater than myself. It was driven by a belief 
that we have a collective responsibility to create a better future for all. It is a celebration of the countless number of people whose lives have been touched by the causes I and those working with me have worked towards, and a testament to the collaborative spirit of service and the belief that to be together we can create a better world for all. As we embark on this, as you embark on this new phase of your lives, I encourage you to keep the spirit of service alive within you. No matter where your paths may lead, remember that your education at SUNY Plattsburgh has not only equipped you with knowledge, but also instilled in you a sense of duty to make a positive impact on society. The world today faces many challenges, from environmental crises to social injustices. It is in these challenges that you will find opportunities to make a difference. Each one of you has the potential to be a force for good, and I encourage you to embrace that potential with open hearts and minds. In closing, I want to reaffirm my dedication to the principles of service that has guided me thus far. I am deeply honored to accept this award on behalf of all those who believe in the power of service to bring about positive change. Let us continue to stand together, shoulder to shoulder, in the pursuit of a more just, compassionate, and inclusive world that promotes freedom for all. Remember, service is a lifelong commitment, and I pledge to continue my efforts to make a meaningful difference in the world and challenge you to do the same. Thank you. Thank you, Jackie. Next, Keith Tile. Keith. Oh, Got to get some glasses on here. So, President and Yeti, members of the University Council, honored platform guests, graduates, your parents families and friends. Let me first congratulate Jackie Madison on receiving the Distinguished Service Award and thank her for her kind words. I've known Jackie from her service with the North Country Underground Railroad and the Rotary Club of Plattsburgh, a civic organization near and dear to both of us. Jackie exemplifies the many goals of Rotary International in her work and life. Thank you to the University Council for this honor. I've never anticipated receiving it for my service to Plattsburgh. It rounds out my experience here. A special thank you to the faculty and staff that I worked with to improve the academic and college experience at Plattsburgh during my time here. Thank you. And to graduates, I can safely say that 95% of you here today were not attending the university when I retired five years ago. In fact, most of you were probably not even born when I began working here in 1995. When I came to Plattsburgh, I was thrust into commencement, producing the programs and news releases, eventually becoming one of the commencement coordinators. When you think about it, I've attended nearly 60 graduation ceremonies here when you consider the college held two ceremonies in the spring and one for winter. Now I hear it's up to three for spring, and many of the faculty and staff have been here, probably some even longer than I have. I had a great career at Plattsburgh and enjoyed working with many colleagues in the administration and faculty. I look out and I see many of the same familiar faces among the faculty and staff sitting and even moving around the field house today. Since retiring, 
I think the thing I miss the most are the conversations in the hallways and the meetings with students and colleagues. Graduates, I applaud you for getting to this point in your academic career. For some, you'll continue on to higher academic achievements. For most, this will end your college career and you'll now enter the workforce. While you will now apply the knowledge gained at SUNY Plattsburgh to be successful in your careers, I would suggest you consider several things. Keep an open mind and always willing to learn something new every day. You have a wealth of knowledge, but we can all acquire new skills and expertise in our jobs and daily lives. Distinguish yourself in your work and life. Find a person or persons who can give you advice so you can become a better version of yourself. It could be a boss, a coworker, a professor here you'll keep in touch with after you graduate today. I had two great mentors here who I could turn to when I needed guidance, advice, feedback, and support in my work and life. Please find the time to get involved in your communities, whether it's as a member of a civic organization, such as a Rotary or Lions Club, your local school or town board, a volunteer fire department, even a youth sports group. We all need to give back to our communities in one way or another. And when your alma mater comes calling, please respond. Future graduates will need assistance, as some of you did as students at Plantsburg. To the University Council, thanks again for this honor. And graduates, I wish you all future success wherever you go and where, whatever you do. Congratulations. Thank you, Keith, and thank you, Jackie. Once again, please join me in congratulating our two Distinguished Service Award recipients. Congratulations. At this time, I would ask that Provost Carbajal please join me at the lectern. Are you ready? We will now present the candidates for degrees because we believe that each candidate should be formally and publicly recognized on this day of celebration. Each will cross the stage to be congratulated. Dr. Tracy Guzio, Professor of English and Director of the Red K Honors Program, and Dr. Shauna Mefford Kelty, Associate Professor of Theater, will announce each graduate's names. Members of the University Council will present diploma covers to each of the candidates as their names are announced. Will the candidates for Master of Science, Master of Science in Education, Combined Bachelor of Arts and Master of Science for Teachers, Combined Bachelor of Science and Master of Science, Certificate of Advanced Study or Graduate Certificate, please stand. President Agnetti, on behalf of the faculty of the State University of New York at Plattsburgh, I am pleased to recommend that these candidates be granted the Master's Degree Combined Bachelor of Arts and Master of Science for Teachers degrees or Certificate of Advanced Study. Thank you, Provost Carbajal. On the recommendation of the outstanding faculty and by the virtue of the authority vested in me by the trustees of the State University of New York, I hereby confer upon you the degree you have earned with all the rights responsibilities, and privileges pertaining thereunto. Congratulations. Please be speeded. The recipients of these degrees will now come forward by individual row. Please follow the directions as when to stand and when to advance.
Denzel Dennis. Autumn Esposito. Brianna Warren. <laughs> Na Yu Kwok. Stefan Ramirez. Carly Baker. Sarah Channels. <laughs> Jessica Huber. Jessica Matos, summa cum laude. <laughs> Caitlin Michek. <laughs> Samantha Kerwood. Samantha Gaylor. <laughs> Ashley Kuchera. <laughs> Andrea French. Eva Kuzinski, summa cum laude. Kelsey Denton. Emily Grenzer. Kelly Simone. <laughs> Frankie Gachardo. <laughs> Finian Kelmurray. David Ahrensbeck.
Alex Garabedian. Thomas Keegan. Luke Geddes. Anna Harris. Abigail Kazensky, <laughs> Katie Wright, <laughs> Renee Men. Samantha Van Leeshout. <laughs> Lauren Orlando. <laughs> Molly Drew. Strandberg, <laughs> Lawrence Kenneth Eckert the Third, <laughs> Gustav Rugg. Andrew Braverman. Dr. Carbajal, would you please join me at the lectern? Will the candidates for the baccalaureate degrees please rise and remain standing? That's the rest of you. President Daniedi, on behalf of the faculty of the State University of New York at Plattsburgh, I'm pleased to recommend that these candidates be granted the bachelor degree. On the recommendation of the outstanding faculty, and by the virtue of the authority vested in me by the trustees of the State University of New York, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Bachelor of Arts or Bachelor of Science with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereunto. Congratulations. Please be seated. The recipients of th these degrees will now come forward by individual row. Please follow the directions on when to stand in advance. Naila Yagub. <laughs> Elizabeth Norris.
Jacob Lusinski. Andrea Garcia Magna Cum Laude. Sydney Dennerline Summa Cum Laude. Nabila Hawk, Magna Cum Laude. Brennan Donaldson. Jenna Marcotte. Stephanie Moulton. Ibrahim Ahmed. Kimberly Becker, summa cum laude. Armando Salvatore, cum laude. Gianna Colon. Diana Ramtarat. Will Charbonneau, magna cum laude. Vanessa Safar, cum laude. Skylar Bird, cum laude. Rachel Naomi Kip. Rose Wise. Madison Collette. Bugan Choi, magna cum laude. Christian Garner, cum laude. Noel Reyes. Danielle White. Ashley Petrullo, cum laude. Nell Gilbo. Julie Bumiel. Deneen Wilson. Aaron Smith. Liam Porter. Brendan Whalen. Nicole Malandrucolo. Yeah. Noah Letterman. Yeah. Brandon Doty. Yeah. Emily Marie Ellis, magna cum laude. Yeah. Brent Shatanoff. Thomas Aloka. Sarah Lester. Jennifer Braun. Rhiannon Morganroth. Elias Raff. Nicholas Liberty, magna cum laude. Allison Sanchez. Cassandra Sherman. 
Andre Balukanag. Jael Nash. David Maceroni. Stephen Bedard. Emily Hernandez. Jordana Kanan. Heather Dutko, cum laude. Allison Baker, summa cum laude. Elia Matthews. Kennedy Taveras. Yesley Cardoza. Jacob Walcott. Jessica Landman. Ashley Barkham Magna Cum Laude. Justin Burdo Cum Laude. Kahim Su. Lakshay Jaware, summa cum laude. <laughs> Lars Hager. <laughs> Isaiah Mars, cum laude. <laughs> Hunter Kelly. <laughs> Olivia Swain, magna cum laude. Kendra Freer, cum laude. Luke Zarko. Caitlin Miles, cum laude. Hislard Otto. Madison Minow. Violet Maweri. <laughs> Jemima Goody Oguama. <laughs> ben Dupree. <laughs> Zach Johnson, cum laude. James Ferrone. Robert Martin. Olivia Hoffman. Grant Lamery. Julia Cochran. Connor Nielsen, summa cum laude. Nicolette Loris. Cassandra Webb, summa cum laude. Alex Sanfilippo. Elena Rushford. Nicholas Helmer. Sahil Idnani. Fernando Matthews. Grayley Martinez. Shane Johnson. Alicia Nicole. 
Alicia Nicole Oakes. Christopher Fisk. Sean Grady. Kaylee Dole. Kyle Flaherty. Jessica Perry, cum laude. Kiana Noel. Isabella Perez, cum laude. Khalil Moore. Daniel William Cantwell, Jr. Jared Davidson. Bestem Tiriaki. Melissa Hernandez. Kimani Mae Jacobs. Joseph Kohlberg. Omar Saldivar. Oscar Saldivar. Paulden Sherpa. Hannah Kailburn, cum laude. Megan Schuster, cum la magna cum laude. Kayla Renault, cum laude. It is a tradition at SUNY Plattsburgh to invite a member of the graduating class to serve as the featured commencement speaker and offer remarks on behalf of their fellow students. Andrea Garcia is a nutrition major and chemistry minor from Nyack, New York, graduating magna cum laude. Andrea will begin her studies at Albany Medical College in January 2025 completing the advanced degree portion of her BS MS Physician Assistant Studies track. Between now and then, she'll be working at the Advocacy Research Resource Center here in Plattsburgh, completing 1,000 patient care hours. As a student, Andrea was active on campus in the wider Plattsburgh community. She is a star cardinal. We are pleased to have her as a member of our family and to have her speak this morning. Andrea?
Thank you, President Dignetti, faculty, staff, and distinguished platform guests. Family and friends, thank you for joining us today on this monumentous occasion. To those who have traveled far or at home watching our graduation through their screens, it is with great honor that I stand here today to speak to all of you. I would first like to thank my family and friends for their endless support, especially my older sister who made it her mission that I pursue something rewarding. I would also like to thank, sorry, I would also like to address the individuals I've gained and lost over the years. Each left a mark on my character, which I believe was for the better. Lastly, thank you to my fellow graduates for allowing me to be your speaker. This ceremony is about you and me, a moment in time where our hard work is acknowledged and our achievements celebrated. Everything happens for a reason. We have all heard the simple quote before. This saying is often used to comfort us when we are met with obstacles of varying severity, yet it is used just as often to rejoice in a positive outcome. This phrase is applicable in many more ways than one. I have used this mantra since adolescence, and it's one that I have and continue to stand by as I face the challenges of pursuing a higher education and the challenges of life. I started my first year of college in the fall of 2021. I had an incredible first year academically and socially, and I was eager to keep on this path. SUNY Plattsburgh is home to many clubs and organizations that are tailored to our career interests, hobbies, or our culture. Similar to most of you, I participated in club events and made the decision of joining a sorority. Through fraternity and sorority life, I became involved in the community and met people that shaped my college experience. Volunteering in the campus thrift store and helping run the children's games at the Battle Plattsburgh are just two of many opportunities I have participated in. We all leave here today with our own memories, with friendships and connections, all of which are possible through campus involvement. I know that I forever carry the highest memories of Plattsburgh with me because of them. As my remarkable experience of Plattsburgh was coming to an end, and as the stress of my academics is finally being lifted, I had accepted that I was to soon become a graduate and enter the world of unknowing opportunities. Many of us graduate today knowing exactly what we want from life and who we are as people, but there are others like myself who carry the weight of confusion, questioning the person we will become. There may come a point in our lives where we may ask ourselves, what is my purpose and what was all of this for? These are questions we have all struggled with from time to time. As curious creatures who long for fulfillment, it is hard to imagine and convince oneself in times of failure that there be jubilation at the end of it all. I'm here today to affirm that although the answer is not simple, you will eventually find your reasons. Over this past year, as I tried overcoming my personal hardships, I came across the philosopher Albert Camus. As humans, we have been blessed with a cursed intelligence being aware of the world around us, how our long days lead up to just short years. In our lifetime, we may desire to know our purpose, what will make us indefinitely happy. Albert Camus, a key figure in existentialism, once said, you will never be happy if you continue to search for what happiness consists of. You will never live if you're looking for the meaning of life. I was having my first existential crisis at 20. And this quote in his work saved me from what seemed like dreadful days. We live in society where it is easy for us to fall into the trap of living to work. Everyone, I urge you to work so that you may live the life that you desire. Take what you will from Camus today, but understand that you are the writer of your own story. You make your own meaning. You write your own journey. Your life is yours truly. I started to appreciate the small things that make up our daily lives. My trajectory of thinking only grew during a lightning discussion about mortality in my honor seminar class. I realized by the end of our conversation that my purpose in life was not just one grand purpose, but many. My purpose in life consists of helping others, perhaps medicine, swing lessons, holding the door for another, it is also as simple as waking up in the morning, 
so did I spend time with my family, friends, and my four-legged companion. Your purposes may be similar to mine, or vastly different. Life's fulfillment is felt individually, and as long as you feel good and your actions are virtuous, I encourage you to embrace those joyous moments. Life is riddled with experiences that make us who we are. This includes the experiences that cause our heads to temporarily stay burrowed in the ground with frustration, but there are other moments that keep our heads high with confidence and gratification. Many of us here today are first-generation college students, myself included. There are students who want to make their families proud, students who sought a better future for themselves, their children, and parents. No matter what the reason is for why we are here at this institution, I can say with certainty that we are here at this ceremony as a class of fall 2023 due to our resilience, perseverance, and merit. We are here because we were in pursuit of something greater than ourselves. Everything in life happens for a reason. And those reasons cause you to change, grow, and mature. My decisions made me who I am today, and although some reasons are still mystifying, and some of my questions may never fully be answered, I trust the outcome will be welcomed. My outcome from choosing to attend SUNY Plattsburgh is that I'm more competent in my field of study. I also believe that I'm a much wiser person now than I was three years ago. And I owe part of that to the people here at Plattsburgh and Clinton County. Everyone here today should feel equally as I do and be proud of completing a laborious and rigorous education at this university. As we venture out into the world as graduates from SUNY Plattsburgh, we now have the opportunity to embark in the world as people we want to be. I challenge each and every one of you to make it your mission to be a better version of yourself than you were yesterday. Just as I had asked myself questions, there will be a time you may ask yourself the dubious questions of human life. The truth is, reasons will vary person to person, but in the end, there is a reason. Even if those reasons seem unclear, trust that you will triumph and you will find your version of success and happiness. Thank you. Thank you, Andrea. It is now my pleasure to introduce to you the President of the Student Association and member of our University Council, Carter Mosier. Carter? Good morning, Cardinals. With your matriculation into SUNY Plattsburgh, you became a member of the Student Association. Today we come together to celebrate your commencement and therefore matriculation into the Alumni Association. While you will no longer be students, you will now take on an important role to our current student body as role models. They will look to you for leadership, success, and most of all, a sense of passion for this beautiful place that is SUNY Plattsburgh. The place that you can now officially call your alma mater. Although I'm not graduating alongside you today, I have been granted the opportunity to help you, the family of students that I've grown to love over the years, dive headfirst into this real world that we've all heard of so much about. Nobody said this would be easy, but together as Cardinals, it is time for us to leave the nest, spread our wings, and soar onward. Today, I am honored to have been conferred the rights by virtue of the Office of the Student Association President to help mark this passage for the class of 2023. Please rise. On the count of three, please move your tassel from the right side of your motorboards to the left over your heart. The true home, your alma mater. One, two, three. Congratulations, class of 2023.
It is now my pleasure to introduce Marsha Cognetta, a 1990 alumni of SUNY Plattsburgh and the second vice president of the Plattsburgh Alumni Association. Marsha. Thank you, Carter. On behalf of the Plattsburgh Alumni Association, it is my pleasure to congratulate the class of 2023. I too was a December graduate, and I know the excitement you're feeling today. The Plattsburgh Alumni Association is the official organization of the college's more than 73,000 alumni. Our mission is to enhance alumni connections with the university and to actively support the SUNY Plattsburgh student experience, especially with regard to career and life preparation. I know that I speak for my colleagues on the alumni board when I offer you our sincere congratulations and tell you that we are most hopeful you will continue your involvement with your alma mater. You have an important role as alumni of SUNY Plattsburgh. We hope you will help us to ensure that students following in your footsteps today will also enjoy the Plattsburgh experience we're celebrating here. Please stay in touch, and I look forward to seeing you for your first homecoming weekend next fall. Congratulations again, and welcome to the Plattsburgh Alumni Association. Let me end this commencement ceremony by wishing each and every one of our graduates much success in your careers and your lives. You entered today as students, and now you leave as graduates of this incredible university. I would also like to thank the following before we go. Our faculty marshal, Dr. Muhammad Geba, distinguished professor of accounting and distinguished service award recipient. Thank you, Mohammed. The Montreal RCMP pipes and drums for its outstanding performance here today. Our signer, Johanna Jackson. Thank you. And the many faculty, staff, and students who graciously volunteered to assist and make this commencement so special for our graduates. And to all our guests, family members, loved ones, important individuals in the lives of our graduates, thank you for being here today. We appreciate you so very much. I would ask that you please wait until the graduates, the faculty, and the platform party have left the gymnasium. And then you may go outside, meet your graduate, and celebrate. Congratulations, graduates. <laughs>